we started in 2014 uh, art partnership. We are the sole art partner for the Grand Slam. We usually go for art fairs or art events, public art events. Uh, and this setting is quite unusual. You wouldn't expect to find an art gallery. People that collect horses uh, are people that collect things. Uh, they have both the means and the interest to collect valuable things of quality or beauty. Uh, there is a lot of similarity. So we started in Hong Kong in February this year and it was a very successful uh, collaboration. We had beautiful display with monumental sculptures, a lot of interaction from both our existing customers and new uh, clients we met uh, in the village because they were just there, you know? I mean, you come and you expect to watch a horse competition, a jumping show, and uh, you walk into a fine art gallery and view masterpieces by Chagall and Picasso and such. I think it was an ex a surprise for the visitor. It's not easy because of uh, logistic issues, obviously. The monumental pieces are huge scale, uh, installation-wise, shipment-wise, tax, etc. It's quite a challenge, but as you can see, they are amazing backdrop to the village, to the paddock. So I'm very, very happy we were able to execute it in the end. The monumental sculptures are phenomenal. One is uh, David Mack, he's a Scottish artist based in London. He's known to be an accumulation artist, so he accumulates anything from matches to bricks to uh, incredible <laughs> coat hangers, you know, dry cleaning coat hangers. You would dismiss very easily, you would never think of them one more second before throwing them out. David Mack collects them, accumulates them and creates monumental works. Uh, this piece is uh, close to 12 feet high, over 3,000 coat hangers, making it into a roaring stallion. It's beautiful, it welcomes you as soon as you walk in the village and it's such an iconic piece for this show. Uh, the second piece, uh, personal favorite of mine, is by Pierre Mater, he's a French artist, and the work is um, uh, based on a, a real Formula One Peugeot 2001 engine that he got, and he built this beautiful horse head, very powerful, very immense, around the, the motor itself, and I think when you look at it, you, you are amazed by both the force of the motor and the force of the animal. It's such a beautiful documentation. Of, of this beast, right? So very exciting to have them on display. I think again, for the people that come for the show, it's people that love horses, they are passionate about horses. So they get excited when they see such documentation, but in art, as a sculpture, something that can capture exactly their own feeling about what the horse animal is. For Paris, we have our gallery in Paris. It's one of our most important galleries uh, based. So we have a beautiful collection of art we're gonna bring there. Uh, obviously Paris, uh, the heritage and the, and the reputation of the show is the biggest and we expect uh, uh, fantastic traffic of uh, uh, horse collectors and investors so we will bring a lot of art related to the horse world but also our usual caliber of masterpieces and contemporary art. Uh, we're very excited to join in Paris because really Paris is our territory, you know, we come from Paris, it's a French gallery uh, and it would be really fun to do this collaboration back home. You know, Hong Kong is another hub, LA is a hub, but Paris is our home. So we are very excited about it and uh, we're sure it will be a great success.